Alrighty, um, so this video is really just kind of a test, a nighttime test of my new lights. Got different uh, colors and stuff going on. I thought it was a blue. Oh, I have other screens. Like, they got a fucking. Uh, there's a, a blue thing. I'll have to try all that. I don't even know where I put the boxes. But yeah, so we're just gonna do a little something, something real fast. You know, I definitely, I could test this out, you know, on my own, but, um, um, no, I just include, I want to include, I want the growth to be, you know, documented, um, the evolution of the channel, the, um, yeah, the upgrades, etc. I want that all to be, uh, yeah, documented, you know, I want, the the uh, better quality of this of or the, you know the quality upgrades to be seen right that's what I was talking what's going on man I remember when this game came out when I was in high school is this is a Batman see? Arkham asylum yeah. Uh, yeah when it came out when I was in high school I feel like this is probably too low right Mm, I don't know. That publicity will affect this campaign from there. Anyway, <laughs> so that was probably too low this whole time. But that's why you have the gameplay to uh, entertain you, so you don't really gotta look at me. You'll be safer if you remain here. All the medical staff are safe. Time to continue following Harley Quinn and Gordon's trail. Oh, this is locked. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. What am I supposed to do? What am I doing? Y'all distracted me. You know, nobody's here. <laughs> hey! A gift. A challenge completed. That's what she said. But yeah, I remember when this, oh snap. <gasps> Biatch. Yeah, so this game came out when I was high school, and it's just life changing. And then the next one came out, Batman Arkham City, and that was even more life changing. I don't know where I'm going. Turn left. So this way. Did you find them? Are they okay? Yes, they're safe. I'm probably going to do this a few minutes because this is just a test video. I need to get back to the mansion. All my research notes are there. Can't this Joker get his hands on? It's not safe, Doctor. The island's a war zone. I remember. I remember uh, when I was starting. My people were like, wanted me to look at other people at, at streamers, like setups. And um, they're like, yeah, they have lights, and they got like the little buttons to control the lights and stuff kind of like how I just did but I was like man I'm not finna be doing all that I don't got it. you know what I'm saying I'm not finna waste my money on lights I'm not trying to look good and pretty whatever and then uh so I start playing I was like damn that shit is kind of dark my, my my footage my camera it's a little dark in here the lighting's not right and I'm like fuck guess guess what I gotta get me some lights so now I got the lights um uh, so you know, I'm uh, I'm very sure that the quality is better, and I'm grateful for that. Um, so it is a better. So like I said, I'm building my church, so it's a better quality church, right? Which is important. So it's like, you know, when it comes to what I do for this channel, what I do, um, it just needs to be for the church, for the betterment of the church. 
Uh, I mean, it might be things I don't want to do. It might be things I don't want to spend money on. But that's a sacrifice you make for God and for the church, you know. Um, and that's where there's a church building. And that's, you know, in a lot of different areas when it comes to serving the Lord, serving Christ. It just comes with uh, sacrifices. And a lot of folks, they don't want to do that. That's why they don't want to be a Christian or they don't want to follow Jesus because they're like, oh, they're a sacrifice. But there's blessings and sacrifices. Um, that's what's so crazy. Like tonight, um, I just got off work, which was funny. I got off work an hour and some change ago. I didn't eight, but I, I haven't showered. <laughs> so I'm still a little gross. But uh, my feet hurt. I haven't taken my, my, my soaking bath. But uh, I just wanted I wanted to get some gaming in. You know, it's relaxing. It's like a little wind down thing. But um, so last two nights at work have been hectic. Three, three, three nights. Three nights, including tonight. Um, with the last two nights, we were shorthanded. So fucking like last night, I was supposed to get off at nine o'clock. I walked out of the building past eleven thirty. You know what I mean? Tonight, I was supposed to get off at nine thirty. Probably got off ten. I think I got in, got in the whip like ten forty, uh, which isn't as bad. But I know last night I uh, I bled the dishwasher. I blessed the dishwasher with some of my tips, and then tonight I did the same thing. And tonight, both t last night and tonight, I made the most money I have made since I started my job. So of course, super grateful. Um, and so I give, you know, give a couple. I gave all my ones to the dishwasher. And then I get to the house, and I forgot that I had left over money because I got my savings, and I'd be having, you know, just the little extra on the side. I forgot that I had the extra, so it was like part of my pay for the night. So I was like, "Praise the Lord!" You know what I'm saying? God is good. You know what I'm saying? I forgot I had extra money, so the extra money is like extra payday. Um, but it makes it makes this oh snap. It makes the sacrifice of blessing others. You know what I'm saying? It makes it. it it's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna keep sacrificing. Um, makes the sacrifice is worth it. Because I've I've met people who have stopped sacrificing, or like Christians who have stopped sacrificing or don't care to sacrifice, or they're they're like, oh, you know, I'm not called to full time ministry. This this and that. And so there's just like, you know what I'm saying, God, God is at church, church is, you know, church is where they do the godly thing, and after that, outside of that, it's whatever, you know what I mean? Like me, I, I wear my Jesus hat, my Jesus clothes to the grocery store, and that doesn't make me a good Christian, a better Christian, a better disciple, it's just like, I, I need people to know everywhere that I go, um, follow Jesus, you know what I mean? I need you to see Christ with me, on me. Uh, at all times, um, but that's and, and it's not that, that it, it's not that I'm called to full time ministry. It's um, where's my Bible? Where is that Bible? Oh, that's right. Um, I'm gonna read something for you know for folks who don't think they're called to be full time ministers of God. Here we go. So this might take a second, but this is 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Start verse 1, but I'm going to skip some. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that you receive not the grace of God in vain. Um, verse 3, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministers of God in much patience in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labors, in watchings, in fastings, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, and deceiver as deceivers and yet true. As unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and not killed, 
as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. Um, yeah, so he's saying we're ministers of God in all situations at all times, everywhere we go, even if we're being persecuted, even when we're sad, even when we're in jail, you know what I'm saying, just all of your life belongs to God, like why would you not want it to when you understand the goodness of God and what Jesus did for you, for us, you would want to take that everywhere with you, you'd want to carry that and walk in the power and authority everywhere you go, you'd be silly not to. You know, the Bible says the goodness of God leads men to repentance. repentance. Oh, snap, he died? I don't remember that. Oh, I know what's happening. The choo choo train, all aboard the choo choo train. Yeah. Intense. Okay, so I know what's like supposed to happen, so I've played this before. supposed to be happening but it doesn't seem to be happening oh so is it the same is it gonna be the same if I go back okay I'm gonna have to watch back because I'm pretty sure I went in the room and that I had to go back out of the room in order to go in the room see me look <laughs> I'm sure somebody else probably did the same thing I can't imagine being a game developer and creating something like that where it just turn around and it's different live. So I'm gonna knock this little part out and then end the. I didn't expect to be. As usual, I didn't expect to be filming this long. But you know, I have to give you something to watch. Look around you. These are the broken fragments of your mind. 
Ah. Right, do it again. And at the end of fear, oblivion. Hey, that's hey man, that's the truth. That's biblical. Bible says the fearful go to the lake of fire. It's in Revelation. I want to say it's Revelation 20, maybe 22. I'll look it up here in a second. I'm going to end the video with the verse. Oh, he's just floating. Everything is as real as I choose it to be. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play this a bunch of times. I almost knocked my light over. I'm not gonna do it a bunch of times on camera for y'all. Uh, quickly. So, uh, he that uh, this is Revelation 21 7. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So stick with Jesus and come back and see me.